Today, every step feels like a victory for 46-year-old Chris Linneman. In 2005, the active father of two was seriously ill with MRSA, a superbug infection he got after knee surgery. I pretty much told my wife to uh, prepare for the worst. MRSA, a common bacteria, was resistant to all three powerful antibiotics Chris's doctors tried. Chris was dying until a fourth antibiotic finally worked. It was frightening, frustrating, and again terrifying just to think about not being there for my family. Chris's recovery was slow and painful. It took four months before he could even walk around the block, but Chris was grateful to be alive. The antibiotics that they were able to find finally did do their job. Um, but there are way too many people <laughs> that are not even close to as fortunate. There's been a dramatic rise in the number of superbugs, deadly antibiotic resistant germs. Two million Americans get infected every year. Experts warn that our current medications can't fight this growing threat. Antibiotic resistance right now is a serious public health problem. Every year in the United States, 23,000 people uh, at least die from an antibiotic resistant infection. That's like a jumbo jet crashing every week. But most drug companies have stopped developing new antibiotics. It's not as profitable as it once was. So now scientists are searching for new options in exotic locations. The Amazon, the Gobi Desert, and now Northern Ireland. We need to find some new antibiotics. Microbiologist Jerry Quinn believes the answer may be here, in the rolling green hills of County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland, a land with deep ties to folklore. You also had a hint that something might be going on here. Yeah, I mean, around this area, there's a lot of still what we call ethnopharmacology, which is local folk cures or local medicine. And there's been cures around for thousands of years. And the idea is that you take the soil and that you, just a small sample, and that you put it under your pillow. Maybe sometimes in a handkerchief, maybe sometimes in a little bag, only if you take a, a very small amount of it. And you say a, a series of set prayers, and then you bring the soil back. It's, it's a faith cure to, to cure all illnesses. And a lot of times when there's cures for thousands of years like that, there's, there's a basis behind it. There's something, there's some reason it works that we just don't know about, and that's what you're looking for. Yeah, we can look at it and say maybe it's just superstition or we can, we can look closely and see, you know, we can, we can actually investigate. Quinn tested the soil. What he found in the mineral-rich limestone was stunning. New strains of bacteria never before seen. He wondered, could they fight killer germs? The result was shocking. When you went to the laboratory, you found out it not just killed bacteria, but this is killing multiple superbugs that our drugs aren't working on. That's a big deal. Uh, yeah, it managed to do that in the laboratory tests, yes. It killed like four out of the top six. The next step for Quinn's research, testing it in humans. So could this be the cure for antibiotic resistance? Yeah, well, it's part of the answer. Chris Lineman hopes so. He's now a patient advocate for more antibiotic research. If things continue to go as they are, uh, more than likely our antibiotics uh, are go will probably just become less and less effective. And I don't want my kids to have to deal with anything I like similar to what I did. I don't want anybody to have to deal with something like I did um, or worse. Perhaps an ancient Irish secret holds the key to solving this modern problem. Tell us, what's the lesson here? The lesson is some of the cures are right underneath your feet. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Northern Ireland. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.